Well, while there's still much to learn from last year's tornado outbreak, emergency management personnel are preparing for another spring storm season. Our Andy Barth attended this year's tornado summit in Oklahoma City and joins me now. Well, Rob, it's that time of year again, a time when people wonder when the next twister will hit and how bad it will be. But Oklahomans have learned from last year's devastating storm season and are sharing their experiences and how to be more weather aware. Well, spring is here. And that means spring storms. Uh, you know, when you look back over the last few years, uh, particularly here in Oklahoma, uh, tornadoes uh, have, uh, you know, really uh, been a uh, kind of wrecked havoc on the state and, uh, and uh, really across the country. Uh, a lot of lives lost, a lot of property loss. Randy Nagabauer is a U.S. representative from Texas and is proposing legislation to tighten building codes to withstand higher wind speeds, something he says can save lives. It's important that we get together and talk about ways that we can uh, keep uh, people safer uh, during a storm, uh, how we can construct our buildings in a way that are more wind resistant. Interesting components. Good news that uh, Oklahoma Insurance Commissioner insurance John Doak says like is important happened. in we such a volatile area. The media. Uh, we could have a, to a tornado tomorrow in, in Oklahoma, and we just want to make sure that we're taking care of consumers. This is the third year Oklahoma has held the National Tornado Summit, something that Doak says brings awareness to those in a dangerous path. This is the only conference uh, really in the world that we know of that is specifically focused on uh, tornado uh, preparedness, uh, working with insurance companies, working with mitigation, working with emergency managers to make sure that we can uh, understand how we do uh, the best job possible for a consumer uh, that may have lost everything. And Nagabauer says losing everything is something his bill will help minimize by focusing on pre-storm awareness. A lot of the funding we want to, 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 to put on the front end, and that's the forecasting and making sure that the building standards uh, are appropriate. And as we build back in many of these areas, you know, building uh, more wind resistant homes, uh, you know, safe houses, uh, storm cellars, those kind of things are certainly something that are on the minds of a lot of people. And Doak says part of being weather aware is knowing your insurance policy. Sit down with your agent or broker. Take that hour to sit down and understand your policy. Make sure that you have adequate coverage. And when it comes to insurance, a picture is worth a thousand words. Take pictures. You know, whether you get one of our free home inventories off of the Oklahoma Department of Insurance website uh, or take those pictures of your home, put them on a jump drive, because if you've lost everything, those pictures really do help. Pictures of your garage, pictures of your attic, pictures of your closet. So before the sky ever turns dark gray this spring, it's important for homeowners to be prepared before disaster even hits. Well, nationwide, the United States records roughly 1,000 tornadoes annually. As a result, about 1,500 injuries and 80 deaths are reported each year, a number that all agree is still too high. Well, it certainly is, but as we've seen in D too often, it can be difficult to stay out of a tornado's path. It can, Rob, and it's very important just to be smart when it comes to tornado season. Don't suddenly decide to become an amateur storm chaser to capture pictures or video of the twister. You know, as we saw last year, even for the professionals, it can be deadly. So when severe weather does threaten, get to a shelter or a room with no outside facing windows. It's important to have a plan in place before a tornado threat even occurs. And unfortunately, according to FEMA, 36% of Americans don't even have emergency plans in place. Now, I know storm shelters can get expensive, but Andy, can you really put a price on safety? Rob, they are expensive, but life-saving. Since 1980, approximately 20 to 30,000 shelters have been built, which saves roughly 10,000 lives each year. Now, if you can't afford a shelter, talk to your neighbors and nearby businesses prior to storm season to see if you can take shelter in their safe rooms. All right, thank you so much, Andy. You're welcome, Rob. Now, we do have more tips for preparing for storm season on our website, as well as a feature on an Oklahoma storm shelter manufacturer that has turned his personal hardship into a business opportunity. Just head to okhorizon.com and look under our value added section. Now when we return, we're picking up the pieces and preparing for a brighter future.